I mean, I think it was just like any movie for the most part. Music, we did listen to the radio. We A lot of times when we were working, we listened to music. So there is actually quite a lot of music, but like yeah. sometimes like certain sta- radio stations we weren't allowed to listen to because they once spoke about L. Ron Hubbard oh. or something like that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So we weren't allowed to have our own things out and our dorms would be inspected every single day for cleanliness. And like there was like a system like where if you if your birthing flunked inspection once, you would like kind of get a warning. And the third time it flunked, you would get sent to pig's birthing. To what? It was called pig's birthing. So it's like basically like a like like so like my friend was once sent to live in this like unrenovated sort of dilapidated house on the second floor and there are like bats in there and stuff so i mean most people were like like our room would get up early so that we never had to be sent to pig's birthing like i was never sent there but it's like a it's something it's a policy written by l ron hubbard the birthing chits and it's if you fail this many times these are these are the punishments to kids too yeah everything that we did was like so regimented and strict we each had our own job we had our own statistic we had to mark our statistic on the graph every day your own statistic yeah so like like so my statistic as the medical officer was was how many kids were well so ironically it's something i'm not even really in control of <laughs> like i could try to like give people as many vitamins as possible you're to keep feeling them well. good today you understand me <laughs> god damn it well that's how it became <laughs> that's how it kind of was like because if you wanted to get the reward at the end of the week which was sometimes just like watching a movie and having popcorn then you'd be like do you have any sickness today and they'd be like oh well this and i'd be like but are you sure like are you feeling like you yeah, yeah you have to have your statistic be up otherwise yes. you can't get that reward Um, But like other times when I had another job, which was just like a groundskeeper, it's like the number of square feet that are that pass inspection as far as cleanliness and upgrades. And it has to increase each week for your statistic to be up. Mm -hmm. And we had to calculate that every day after we woke up. We had like three different cleaning stations a day. We had assigned duties if there was ever an intruder, a fire or anything like that. We just had so many things that we had to do all day all the time how many hours a night did you sleep well we went to so lights out was at 9 30 and we woke up at 6 30 a.m so they have yeah. you sleeping at least yeah that's nice of them yeah yeah <laughs> but what what was the like you you started maybe to kind of answer a question i was going to have because it kind of surprised me when you said there might be a movie and popcorn at the end of the week because mm-hmm. i was going to ask you You'd mentioned a few minutes ago, like, oh, we couldn't do art and stuff. Like, did you know what art was? Did did you have a concept of music? I, I would imagine maybe you did if they're showing you movies. Like, what what kind of what kind of movies would they have in there even? I mean, I think it was just like any movie for the most part. Music, we did listen to the radio. We a lot of times when we were working, we listened to music. So there is actually quite a lot of music, but like yeah. Sometimes, like, certain sta- radio stations we weren't allowed to listen to because they once spoke about L. Ron Hubbard oh. or something like that. So <laughs> Was that Howard Stern? <laughs> no. What's the one in L.A. called? Oh, K-Rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. like, a big station. Yeah, yeah, that was banned for a while. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But did you, like, did you have favorite music artists or whatever? Or it was just, like cool background noise i definitely had favorite music artists i would get made fun of because it was like mariah carey and like voice to men it wasn't it wasn't cool why are people making fun of that (laughs) they're fire come on (laughs) because i guess some of them would like listen to punk music Mm. but i remember like the sex pistols were banned because elron hubbard like wrote a policy about them once and how they were a bad influence so they weren't allowed to listen to them which was just fine because they kind of they kind of suck. 
<laughs> so like if their song went to come on would like one of the teachers like if it's coming on the radio one of the teachers run to the radio and like change the station well more like if you had a cd of theirs it would get taken away oh so you did have you had your own personal cds and like walkmans and stuff yeah we did have i i had that not everyone did but like but so you were allowed to right so like so one of my things me and my dad would do on Sunday mornings because because I was only allowed to see him on Sunday morning as we would go to the CD shop and I would use like some of my pay and he would use some of his pay and we would get CDs because we both liked music when this is like when you're like 10 years old that kind of thing yeah Eight, like nine, between when ten. I was six and 12 so you're using some of your money to buy CDs dad's not buying your CDs there He's using some of his money too because oh, I would have had to save up for like four weeks, which I, I use all my money on like buying snacks in the canteen. Mm. So I guess buying my snacks, yeah. Yeah, what was the what was the food like in there? Could you eat when you wanted or like was that very regimented too? So we absolutely could not eat when we wanted. We had to eat during meals. Mm. And if you stole food from the refrigerator, which people did sometimes, you would be assigned a lower condition which is just basically there's certain – like you would basically be required to make amends and then and then you would sort of be like – you would have to make amends during like your own time, which was basically only your meal time. Like you would literally have to be like, I clean this whole room up even though it's – like do something that's outside of your regular job. And then you would have to like get everyone in the group to sign a piece of paper that said you were allowed to be out of your lower condition or you'd made enough amends in order to be out of that lower condition or to stop having to make amends. That's a form of conditioning right there. I mean, making you do that. Holy shit. Yeah. And what yeah, I, sure. I we, we got off it, but like what kind of, what kind of movies would be back there when you go to see some, would it be like a regular full Hollywood movie or? Yeah. It was just like mostly regular movies. I'm trying to remember. I mean, so some, so when we would go home on Saturday evening and then our, we would see our parents on Sunday morning. And, and by the way, we would, sorry, by home, I mean, when we would go to our parents' apartments. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, like we would watch, like, I mean, I remember my brothers would watch Top Gun or my, one of my brothers was super <laughs> into Steven they did. Seagal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or we would watch Ace Ventura a lot. Okay. And I would try. I would want to watch The Little Mermaid, and they like still make fun of me because they're traumatized from watching The Little Mermaid too much. A little girl wants to watch The Little Mermaid. What a yeah. shocker! Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's nuts. Yeah. So just that kind of thing. So that like there, that's that's the thing. Like there's there's little bits of normalcy. Here and there, like they sprinkle in just enough, almost to like fill the minimal amount of dopamine you need to keep going, and mm -hmm. then the rest of your life they make this hell and try to tell you it's not. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we were sort of told that if that because we were given a place to sleep and we were being given food, that if we didn't do our jobs and give back, if we didn't give exchange for what we were being given, then. L. Ron Hubbard believed you would become a criminal. Yeah. So basically we thought that if we didn't do that, then we would become criminals. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.